Hello, I'm Joan Shannon Jung, and I'd like to share a little bit about my Wonderlust journey so far. I live in Vancouver, BC, and I am a grade four teacher. And I first joined Wonderlust in 2021. I think I joined because I did the, the December um, free offering that was uh, like an advent journal. And I really loved the process and um, decided to give it a go. I was not working during the pandemic that first year. And so I was stuck at home and like many of us. And I just thought, why not? I have time. And so I jumped in and thoroughly enjoyed uh, getting to know myself as an artist and build my own confidence. And part of that is from meeting so many people from around the world, um, both instructors and participants, and learning through their creative sharing and um, just how they were dealing with the pandemic during that really difficult year. I've continued this year, I'm back at work, and so carving out time to be creative has become uh, something that I value very highly. Um, it's not always easy. I'm a bit behind, but the beauty of Wanderlust is that you really can go at your own pace and um, just be encouraged to jump in whenever you can. Um, yeah, I've, I just really thank the Wanderlust community from uh, around the world who have encouraged me and um, given me feedback and as well just opened up your own uh, creative practice for encouragement of others. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna share a flip through of my journal of 2021 and I hope you find it fun. Here's my whole journal. You can see I took off the cover because it got, it was expanding so much towards the end of the year. And someone in the class taught us how to do that. So Wonderlust 2021. Week one was a great uh, week with Kasia Avery to focus on my one little word for the year. January 2021, we were right in the middle of the pandemic and this was just wonderful. So many layers, so much journaling in here. It was really inspiring. Week two with Lally Mill, love her lesson. This also had so many layers, a little bit of words peeking out, things that brought me joy and hope. Love this lesson, also with Kasia. Um, this is my great grandfather, and this is a letter that he wrote uh, when he was away serving his country in the war. So lovely that I have these meaningful family ephemera to use. This was week eight with Renee Mueller. Um, I love this lesson. When, even now when I bring out my journal to look at it again, I'm reminded of the daily walks that I did during the pandemic and how I really stopped to look at this moss that was growing on the, uh, the paper bark maple. And I had to look that up to find out what kind of tree it was. And then little layers here of meaningful um, journaling that's covered up because it was meaningful at the time. Really love that lesson. Serendipity. This was week nine with Kasha. And I think what I love most was that this is when I started realizing how much fun layering was. I was always afraid to cover things up, but suddenly I realized that that was part of just having little things peeking through 
was part of the joy and even serendipity that it was an unplanned, fortunate discovery. It's not something we always plan when we start our art pages. I learned that during Wanderlust. Nice little fun pockets with some journaling of my stories at the time, a little poem. This was Nicole Warrington's lesson on her tree. And even though I live in the same part of the world as Nicole Warrington, I felt so drawn to, to focus on a tree from my childhood um, in the Dominican Republic. And I chose a, a little found poem in Spanish that fit perfectly. And again, you can see a little bit of the journaling that tells the story of this particular cashew tree that I used to play in. Love these layers. This is week 18 with Marami. Ah, so many layers, learning how to use kind of vintage florals and using watercolor to color them in. And I had some really precious papers and I was challenged to use them because they just sit in the drawer. So I used some really precious things to me and now this is one of my favorite pages of this year. Another really fun lesson with Kasha, week 25. This was on boundaries. And I really feel like I let loose on this one. I didn't know where it was going from the beginning. This was one of my challenges this year is not to have an idea ahead of starting what it want, what I wanted it to look like, but instead to go with the layers and see where it, it guided me. I had a lot of fun with this. There's so many beautiful teachers who shared with us their pages and their process and just lovely. I could talk about every single page. <laughs> this is a fun little um, book that we made out of a file folder, I think. This page is so thick because it was all about texture and so many layers. It's so thick. <laughs> Love this. Mm, this is a really fun lesson with, again with Kaja. Um, focusing on the artist David Hockney. And again, this is one of the places that I visited weekly, sometimes twice a week during the pandemic uh, near my home. It's a, it's a garden. And I had taken some photos of it. And so I used one of my photos and just used her technique inspired by David Hockney to fill it with texture and took a long time, but it was really fun. One of my favorites. Wow, 
off these layers. Kate Crane, week 39, I believe, on home. And I've had a, the privilege of living in a few places around the world, and each place is filled with lots of good friends, good memories. And I just journaled about that and thought about that as I created this lovely page with Kate's super instructions. Here's my, my childhood home right here. This is where I spent some university years. This is where I spent some high school years. We did a fables theme and we were invited to write our own made up fable. And so I wrote one about the bean, the gecko, and the raven. And the moral of the story, which I think fits so well with my Wanderer's journey, if you can see that, be open to learning and acknowledge that you are still growing. Then you will know that you're in the place you were meant to be. We were invited in this lesson to choose our word for the next year. So this hope is my word for this year. I think this is a great quote now looking back that I chose that. Um, during this year of Wanderlust 2021, I was at home and I had a lot of time to play and a lot of time to explore um, my creative ideas and thoughts guided by all these wonderful teachers. And now I am back at work full time, also caring for a grandson. And so my time for play, um, I have to really find it and um, create that space for myself. And it's going well, um, but I do have some catch up to do. And that's all part of it too, doing it in my own time. Thanks for watching.